Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Hindash. I know I've been away for a while, but I just moved. So it's a bit echoey in here because I haven't fully set up yet. <laughs> but I'm back with Timmy and we have a really cool, fun video, which is a bit different from the videos that I usually do, because why not? <laughs> So for today's video, it's going to be all about the do's and don'ts of makeup. Now, this is very, very subjective. So kind of take this as a fun video. I mean, I know you can do so many things on the don't side, but it's all about editing and knowing what to kind of place, what to place with what, like what lip goes with what eye and vice versa. So again, it's meant to be a really fun video. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. And if you want to know how to do this <laughs> then please keep watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already give me a thumbs up let me know what you think in the comments below and i'll see you guys very soon bye okay so i have shay with me who is a very close friend of mine you guys know her you've seen her a lot on my channel and i'm going to be starting off with skincare as usual because i'm not going to really skip that step i don't want to show wrong skincare because again it's her skin, so I'm just going to go ahead with this step. And I'm starting off with the Caudalie Beauty Elixir just to freshen her up. And then I'm going to be following up with the Ula Henriksen Banana Bright Vitamin C Serum. This is one that I've been using a lot. I love it. It's a serum, so it feels very lightweight, and I can layer moisturizer and sunblock after this without really piling on a lot of layers on my skin. So I do really, really love this. And take it down the neck. Don't forget the neck. And I'm just going to be patting that in to get it all nice and absorbed into her skin. Then I'm going to be following up with the Biosense Squalene and Probiotic Gel Moisturizer, which is one of my favorites. I use this all the time. I love it. And because I feel like me and Shay have the same skin type, so I'm kind of doing my skincare routine on her as skin prep, keeping everything very light, very fresh, a lot of thin layers. And it's getting really warm here in Dubai, so I just want to keep everything nice and light. And then I'm going to be moving on to eye cream. This is the Ula Henriksen Banana Bright Eye Cream, which I've been kind of constantly using lately. I really, really do like this, especially for underneath makeup. It brightens, it doesn't feel heavy, it really moisturizes and works great, again, for makeup. <laughs> and for lips, I'm just going to be moisturizing them with the MAC Prep and Prime Lip Moisturizer. Lip Conditioner, I guess, is what it's called. And it is one of my all-time favorites. Okay, getting into the makeup, I'm going to be taking my NARS Sheer Glow Foundation in Barcelona. And this is one of my all-time favorite foundations. I love it. I'm going to be pouring that into a palette. And I'm going to be taking my brush and kind of working it into the brush. Um, nothing heavy. And then going into the skin in thin layers, which is what I always do. And I'm going to be patting that onto the skin just to really make it sink into the skin. And as you can see, it doesn't look like a mask. You kind of get to see her skin peek through. It's a bit um, kind of lighter because her face has a bit of pigmentation, so it matches her neck more. But I'm going to be bronzing and contouring, so it's fine. I'm just unifying the skin tone at this point. And again, that's how I usually like to work in very thin layers because I'm going to let the concealer do any heavy-duty concealing in areas where I want to be concealed. For my don't side, now this is very subjective and it didn't show on camera as well, but I'm just going to be going in with the foundation straight ahead. I really wanted to drip the foundation onto her skin, but I mean, I don't want to do that. <laughs> but don't drip the foundation onto your skin. Now look, this really does look great on camera. I'm not going to lie, it looks beautiful on camera, but in person it looks very heavy. I mean, with just any bit of sunlight, you're going to get to see... All her pores kind of screaming and begging for help, but it looks beautiful on camera. So this is where I'm losing, guys. This is where I'm losing because a lot of the a lot of the stuff photographs beautifully and looks. I don't want to say photographs beautifully, but it does look beautiful on camera. Now to contour and warm up her face, I'm going to be taking my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade Cafe, and I'm just going to be dotting that around the areas where I want to kind of bring in more shape and more contour. And as you can see, I'm going to be going back in with my foundation brush because of that bit of the foundation actually blends it in and makes it blend really seamlessly into the skin. And I'm going to be buffing everything upwards when it comes to the cheeks and downwards when it comes to the jaw because I don't want to kind of contour her beautiful jawline because I want to keep that prominent and, and nice. <laughs> Same thing with the forehead, I'm just going to be blending it right into her hairline and blending that nose and the lips as well. 
super fresh. For the other side now, I'm not gonna lie, I should have used a much darker concealer, but I thought I would do this with the same products. Now you guys, the products make such a difference, so I really should have gone with a much darker color. But I'm gonna be more heavy handed. Again, this does look better. I mean, it doesn't look better, but, but it shows more in person. Now I'm gonna be blending that contour with a brush that's clean. And this kind of makes it a bit harder to blend. Now we're using liquid, so it is easier. But generally, you if you do use the foundation brush that you use, it's gonna be so much easier because you have that foundation in, it's gonna blend it so much better. But yeah, trust me when I say this looks worse in person. <laughs> For concealer, I'm gonna be taking my Beauty Blender Bounce Airbrush Liquid Whip Concealer, which is one of my favorites right now. I really, really love it. I'm taking two colors. And I'm going in with a kind of a, I don't want to say a darker one, but more of her skin tone, just to kind of color correct. And then going in with the lighter one to add brightness. Now I'm doing very thin layers, but when it comes to the brightness, I can go in with a bit of a heavy hand because we kept the base very light and fresh. And it looks like I'm using a lot here, but when it comes to the other side, it just... <laughs> It doesn't compare for some reason. And going back in with your foundation brush, if you want to blend the edges seamlessly. Now for the other side, I'm going straight in with the lighter concealer and just packing it on and kind of highlighting everything as well, highlighting the jawbone, the forehead, and the chin. And again, it looks great on camera. For cream blush, I'm taking the Fenty Beauty Cheeks Out Cream Blush and Petal Poppin. Now this works great for the dew side because it is a very sheer blush. You can't really mess it up. It blends in and it just looks beautiful. It looks very fresh. And I'm gonna be placing that high up on the cheekbones and blending it upwards. And not really going too far in. And for the don't side, I'm taking a brighter color. This is the same blush, but in strawberry daiquiri. And I should have used a different blush. I really should have, because these are very sheer blushes. They kind of made them so that they would be uh, foolproof. But I'm gonna intensify that with a powder later and I'm going straight onto the apples of the cheeks. For powder, I'm taking my Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder and I'm going in with my Beauty Blender. I'm gonna be tapping off the excess just so we have a thin layer and tapping that underneath the eyes. I love this for every day. You don't get a ton of powder and you're not really baking, you're just actually setting your face and dragging whatever is left onto the rest of your face. It really does look beautiful, beautiful in real life as well. For the other side, I'm going to be baking more traditionally, so just packing that powder on, which again, it, it's not a problem at all. I still do bake, and I feel like there's a time and place for baking, but I'm just going extreme on this side because we're gonna do all the extreme tricks all at once. <laughs> and that's what's fun. For my do side, I am gonna be cleaning up the brows with a bit of my cellar water because I really don't like anything on the brows <laughs> what I, before I do brows. And for the don't side, I'm just leaving it. Just let it be. For brows, I'm taking the Urban Decay Brow Blade in Dark Drapes, one of my favorite brow pencils. I really do love this. You get a kind of traditional pencil, but it's more intense. It's more of a gel formula. And the other side, you get a felt tip where you can draw tiny individual hairs, kind of like an ink stain. I love it. I'm just gonna be kind of shaping her brows. I'm not gonna be filling them in all the way. I still wanna see a bit of her skin peek through the brows, I wanna keep them very fresh, but they're still very structured, as you can see. And taking my MAC powder, I think this is Omega, and I don't know what it's called because the label came off, and I'm just gonna be fluffing the front of the brow very lightly and setting the tail. Now moving on to the don't side, I, I mean, what can I say? I'm just gonna outline the entire brow and fill it in completely. Again, this does look kind of good on camera, I'm not gonna lie, but it gives her a much harsher, a bit more aggressive look. Now, I again, I do like these brows. I mean, I feel like there's a time and place. If you toned everything down and went for a really bold brow, go for it, it looks great. I think it looks beautiful. But again, we're gonna be doing everything at once. <laughs> I'm gonna be priming on my dew side and I'm taking a kind of colored Primer, I guess. This is the Nabla Cupid's Arrow in Arrow Number One, which is kind of a dusty pink. And I'm going to be putting that all over the eye and kind of shaping it before shadow so we get to see and map out the shape. And blending that in with a fluffy brush. 
So blending it in and out so you get that very nice lifted eye. For the dew side, for a more soft glam look, I'm taking a brown liner, you guys know. <laughs> this is the NARS Mambo Eyeliner, it's my favorite. And I'm gonna be pulling that out, just mainly focusing on the outer corners. And I'm gonna really wing it out. I'll, I'll do that more with eyeshadow after. Now I've been wanting to try this Charlotte Tilbury Eye Color Magic Liner Duo in Copper Charge because a lot of people told me that it might be a, a dupe for the NARS Mambo, but it is much more warm and more coppery. The Mambo is more chocolate, but it's still beautiful. For eyeshadow, I'm taking the Sigma Beauty Corde Rosa Eyeshadow Palette, and I'm taking the lighter shade and kind of highlighting underneath the brows just to kind of accentuate what I want to pop out and highlight, and on the center of the lid because I wanna keep things very fresh on this side. So highlighting the areas that I wanna come forward and then in the areas where I kind of wanna push back, I'm taking that nice caramel brown and going on the lower lash line and into the crease. Take your time, diffuse it, build it up, go in step by step. And I'm gonna kind of connect it with the liner and wing everything out and blend outwards. So you kind of keep building that color and diffusing it. I'm taking that sparkly shimmer shade and I'm going to be popping that on the center of the lid so you get a bit of that wet look as she looks down, as she's looking ahead, you get that nice sparkle. For the don't side, I'm going straight in with my caramel brown and I'm just going to be packing it into the crease. As you can see, the foundation that I used as a base already creased and I'm just going to be going on top of it because, you know, why not? This is the don't side. <laughs> And what I wanted to do with this is kind of make it more of a round shape that would lift her eyes down, but I really failed. <laughs> I failed at doing that. And I tried to make a very harsh um, brow bone highlight, but I also failed. And now I'm going to be packing on the shimmer on the lid and kind of working it into the crease, kind of ignoring all that crease work we did. But you guys, I mean, I'm not going to lie, I don't, I don't think this eye look is that bad. <laughs> I tried to really droop her eyes down, but Shay has beautiful eyes, what can I say? And this is where I thought the eyeliner would kind of be, kind of make it overkill because this eye look alone is beautiful and it's when you keep adding and adding to a look where it kind of gets a bit too much. And that's what I'm doing with the gel liner. I'm packing it on, very thick, and you know, the liner with the shimmer and the crease, and then I'm going to be putting lashes, it's going to be... I mean, I was relying on that inner corner to kind of make it overkill, but... <laughs> but, but it's a clean inner corner. <laughs> so as you can see, I'm kind of doing the full, like, the full shebang. For mascara, I'm going to be trying out the Huda Beauty Legit Lashes, and she's just going to be going in with the... I think there are two sides, the curl one, and then the more volume one. And it's a really nice mascara, I like the effect of it a lot, and she has beautiful lashes. I'm going to be cleaning off the excess of the mascara, and I'm going to be putting it on the lower lashes on the dew side, because you get a very soft, um, kind of not clumpy look, and I really like doing this all the time. And on the don't side, I'm going to be going in with very intense lashes, which are beautiful on their own, don't get me wrong, but I'm just showing you how heavy makeup and more of a soft glam makeup can really change a face. And I'm going to make her put black on the waterline and on the rim of the eye. And on the do side, I am going to be using the gel liner, but I'm just going to be using it to tight line the lashes, just so you get that thickness without an obvious black line. And she's going in with the brown on her inner rims as well. And this enhances everything without it looking very stark and harsh. I'm going to be using the Ardell Individual Lashes in Medium always. And I'm just going to be putting a couple of lashes on the outer corner. I would say about four. But I mean, that doesn't matter because each eye is different. And this just gives you that nice lift, that fluttery lash. And it does look beautiful. I'm going to be accentuating that wing with that chocolate shadow and just pulling it out even more because why not? And taking that on the lower lash line as well to kind of enhance everything. For a bronzer, I'm going to be going in with more of a baked formula because I feel like that's going to add a very healthy sheen to the face without adding shimmer. And this is the Laura Mercier Candle Glow Sheer Perfecting Powder in number 6. Now, like I said, this is a baked formula, so it's going to kind of 
diffuse all over the skin and give you a nice glow without it accentuating any texture. For blush, I'm taking the Laura Mercier Blush Color Infusion in Peach and Chai. Now, peach has a bit of shimmer, very light, and chai is matte, so I'm mixing them together. Just to give us that very diffused, healthy flush of color. On the don't side, I'm taking the Benefit Hula Toasted, which is a darker bronzer, and I'm just going to be going right in and treating it as a contour, as a bronzer, but mainly as a contour. So I'm aiming to leave harsh lines, but... I kind of failed. <laughs> I kept blending. <laughs> I'm going to be taking it on the tip of the nose and on the sides of the nose. You guys know I don't really like to contour the sides of the nose a lot. And for blush, I'm taking the Laura Mercier Blush in Strawberry, one of my all-time favorites. It is kind of a bubblegum strawberry pink. And I'm going to be piling it on. And I end up kind of adding more later because it kind of disappears. I don't know. I mean, this makeup really, <laughs> really does film well. And now I'm thinking how bad does the makeup have to be for it to look bad on camera. Hmm, makes me think. <laughs> really makes me think. I'm going to be packing on a highlighter with a dense uh, synthetic brush. And this is really going to pack that color on. And as you can see, a lot of highlighter can really emphasize skin texture where you don't want it. So this is a perfect example of, you know, toning down a highlighter when it's not needed or when it doesn't work for you. If you're going to put highlighter on and your skin is going to look worse, then you really don't need it. You don't need to highlight. For the contour on the do side, I'm taking a cooler toned contour and contouring the tip of the nose. And that's going to really just enhance everything. And highlighting strategically on the cupid's bow and the tip of the nose. And spraying a bit of Fix Plus on my highlighter, I'm going to be putting that on the inner corner because that's where I kind of want that nice beam and intensity. For lips on my do side, I'm taking the Wayne Goss The Essential Lip Pencil in Sepia, and I'm gonna be outlining her lips, and I can outline them just a tiny bit. I mean, she has beautiful lips, so I'm not gonna go crazy overboard. And fill them in very lightly. So just a nice defined line. And I'm gonna be going for a super nude look here. I'm taking the Wayne Goss The Luxury Cream Lipstick in Camellia. And it is a light kind of caramel nude. And I'm going to be applying that all over. Such a beautiful lip color. I, I really, really love this. And I'm going to blend everything with the lip brush. And for gloss, I'm taking the Wayne Goss, the High Shine Gloss in Antique Rose. Oh my God, that was a tongue twister. <laughs> That's going to create such a beautiful, healthy glow to the lips. For the don't side, I'm going to be going in with a bright red lip. And this is a MAC Retro Matte Liquid Lipstick. I love this formula. It's so, so good. And I love it for red. And I'm going to be really overlining and accentuating her Cupid's bow, kind of going higher up and then bringing everything in. Uh, very kind of doll-like in a, in, a, in a creepy way. <laughs> now, I can't stress how, I mean, it does look not bad on camera, but in person, it looks like she has so much, so much layers on and it can be toned down. You can do a beautiful red lip, but just outline it properly and wear it with a bit of mascara and lashes. You can do lashes, but go a bit less on the eyes. And for the beauty marks, I'm gonna be going in very gently with my eyebrow pencil and tapping it in if you wanna diffuse the color. And for the don't side, I'm just gonna be going straight in, making it very intense and black without much like texture to it. It's just gonna look like a black dot. <laughs> And that is it, guys. This is my do's and don'ts of makeup. And like I said, makeup is very subjective. You can do whatever you want. You can wear anything you want, as long as it makes you feel great. No one can tell you anything, honestly. So just take this as a fun video on how we would see Shay in completely different looks and how she can transform. And let me know what you think in the comments below. Which side did you prefer? Did you prefer some techniques on the don't side? Because, I mean, I do, just not all together. <laughs> Alright guys, I'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and give me a thumbs up and I'll see you very soon. Bye.